Hey guys, welcome to BP, the Bible Perspective. You know, we've lost a lot of people uh, to COVID-19, many of them Christians, and many of them who thought that their faith would overcome COVID or that maybe God would prevent them from getting COVID. And I can imagine uh, when they got to heaven that they asked God, why didn't you save me from COVID? I can imagine God's response. Uh, I sent you dot dot dot. Now before we get into it, please like and share this video and subscribe to BP, the Bible Perspective. And as always, if you have a thought or comment, add it to the comment section below. All comments are welcome. You know, uh, it's not so much as dying from COVID or any other disease is it's, it's the issue, but oftentimes it's why. And especially when we come to people who are in the faith and some of the reasonings that they form. And in this COVID-19 pandemic, many Christians are just downright foolish. And as I said, they're dying from a disease that is preventable, or a virus that's preventable and survivable. Uh, just earlier this month, we lost Marcus Lamb, founder of Daystar Network, the second largest Christian network in the nation. It was 64. But the reasoning why is even more disturbing, that he frequently spoke out against vaccines and that he uh, uh, had all kinds of other uh, uh, quack remedies for COVID-19 and none of them work for him. And so I can imagine, you know, in heaven, when he passed away, that he might have asked God, why didn't you save me from COVID? And God's answer, of course, would have been, um, I did send you help. And that is going to be, to me, I think, I don't know, people who, I, since I haven't, passed on the other side, I can imagine, of course, the joys of going to heaven should outshine, but certainly the question, well, why did I, why didn't you save me? And it kind of reminds me, of course, of one of the stories that you hear. There are different versions of this story. I'm going to tell one of them. And that is, of course, the drowning man story. Let me read you the one version is just one I saw online. There are many versions that I said, but let me read you one of the versions of it. And I'm going to come back and that the fellow was stuck on his rooftop in the flood and he was praying to God for help. Soon a man in a rowboat came by and the fellow shouted to the man on the roof, jump in, I can save you. The stranded fellow shouted back, no, it's okay. I'm praying to God and he's going to save me. So the rowboat went on, then a motorboat came by. The fellow in the motorboat shouted, jump in, I can save you. To this, the stranded man said, no thanks, I'm praying to God, he's going to save me. I have faith. So the motorboat went on, the helicopter came by and the pilot shouted down, grab this rope and I will lift you to safety. To this, the stranded man again replied, no thanks, I'm praying to God, he's going to save me, I have faith. Soon the helicopter reluctantly flew away. Soon the waters rose above the rooftop and the man drowned, went to heaven. He finally got his chance to discuss the whole situation with God. At which point he exclaimed, I had faith in you, but you didn't save me. You let me drown. I don't understand why. To this, God replied, I sent you a rowboat a motorboat, a helicopter. What more did you expect? Now, as I said, this is a very time-honored story, but I like it. The one version I heard was when the floods came, a man in a truck came by, but I digress. This so applies to the pandemic and how foolish people could be. That there are people who are out there refusing simple help. And even if you wanted to say that, okay, I don't believe in the 
vaccines. But then why aren't you arming yourself with the proper PPE that could help shield and certainly stop you from spreading COVID-19? Truthfully, if you don't want to take the vaccine, okay, I can support that. But then people act as if COVID-19 is not a risk, a threat that is not deadly. And if you have health issues, you are at more risk. So why would you go and put yourself in harm's way when you should at the very least be protecting yourself? Wearing the proper PPE. And of course, if you want to examine even the reasons why there are Christians who are refusing to get vaccinated, and again, I can support if you don't want the vaccine. But I am challenging the reasoning why. Some from the idea that vaccines are, you know, harmful, that uh, to the mark of the beast, all that kind of nonsense. But what is interesting is that if you contract COVID, the first thing you do is run to the hospital. And what do they do? They pump you for the medicine. Are you checking out all the medicine they will give you? And in the case of Marcus Lamb, remember he spent the last days in the hospital dying of COVID. They gave him the kind of medicine that they could have given him enough to help him to relieve the pain while he was dying of a disease that he didn't, that he could have avoided. And that's my point. Are we saying that, hey, you know what? Uh, can God save me when we do have answers? Are we refusing things? And let's just examine the reason why. And and, 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 and one other thing, and, and I have to say this because this is so silly that especially if you're following networks like Fox News or President ex-President Trump, who himself is vaccinated and every single employee at Fox News is vaccinated. And yet they tell you, you shouldn't get vaccinated. And if you believe that, the foolishness there. That is my perspective. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to BP The Bible Perspective. And if you ever thought a comment, add it to the comment section below. All comments are welcome. Love to hear what you have to say. Love to hear your opinions. Till next time, I'll see you then.